Okay, so I've been quite busy recently, the last few days, just been working on the tablets that go in the cockpit. Um, obviously this is all the dash, and dash uh, screens that will be usable for all of the, all, all the functions in the car and everything else you'd ever need, which basically I'll show you them all and go through them all. Um, it uses a Garma car launcher, uh, a Garma car launcher uh, as the main base for it. And obviously you can adjust that to suit various different things uh, with the these centerpieces, all these colours, and everything else, it can all be changed. Uh, I just happen to like this sort of layout, it looks quite cool. Um, so yeah, I'll, go, I'll run through them. Uh, this tablet's slightly different to the others, as you've probably noticed, slightly different size. There is a reason for that, which I won't bother explaining, but um, I'll go through what's what. Uh, so on these, you've got phone, so you can, obviously, if you're through Bluetooth, you can use your phone through that. Um, emails, pretty standard, I won't open those. Gauges, uses Talk Converter Pro, uh, sorry, not Talk, was this one? Not Talk, talk, talk Converter, what's it called? Talk, um, Talk Pro, sorry, ignore that, <laughs> just called Talk Pro. Uh, this will be connected to the ECU, it gives you all the details for the car. Um, it's quite a cool thing, it's only three quid to buy. Um, and obviously it runs through the, it will be a standalone management on the ECU of what I'm getting, so um, that'd be good. It runs through Bluetooth, that'd be the result. Press that to go through to home. Uh, we've got YouTube on there. It's, none of these have been opened, so they might, they might be a little bit slow. Normally they're pretty responsive. Uh, this hasn't been opened since I started this, so. There you go, you've got YouTube works on there. Uh, again, got Facebook. That works on there too. Nice and easy. You have, uh, obviously you can get into apps and stuff through here. I've also got the music player. I've got two I've got music, music players actually on both. Um, on this particular one, it's because uh, on the on the other tablet I'm going to use for music, it's got um, headphones plugged in because it uses it as an aerial for the FM radio, uh, which is pretty cool. But I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and on the centre here, I've got a clock. You can change that to either a logo, for instance, like the Renault logo, which I've set, selected there. You can have different cars. Um, you can have things like the sat nav. You can have a speedo in there. All sorts of options, pretty much. Uh, okay, it comes through to the second one. So this is one of the ones that you, that runs the Bluetooth relays that a lot of people have been asking me about. Uh, so all the all the car functions, like if you've seen any other videos, um, the car functions like wipers. Um, well, on this particular one, actually, this is the main one. So this is going to be uh, start, ignition, fuel pump, those sort of things. Basically, all the alternator that'll all be on there. Um, sat nav, sat nav actually works through the center here as well, so I've got it set up for that. Um, so you've got whenever you select a route in Google Maps, which obviously is in there, which uh, you do have to have GPS signal, which I probably won't have in here at the moment, but there you go. But obviously, you've got Google Maps on there, which is perfectly fine. Um, obviously, the good thing is about having all three screens, you can have different things on each one at each at any one time, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, come out of there. But if you do select a route, that will come with me up in 3D on there as well, which is nice. Um, we have a... I should, I'll, put, I'll put the speeder one, didn't I? I did that. Um, so obviously, got the internet. I've also got a traffic program on here for any traffic. Uh, I, I thought I may as well put that on the sat-nav one. It's run by Inrix, which are pretty good. Anyway, they're on a lot of manufacturer um, sat-navs. And this basically gives you a nice... View obviously everywhere, everywhere's green at the moment. Good old Corona and the traffic on the roads, uh, but it tells you all the road closures, any any red bits and stuff. It's all live as well, so it's literally bang up to date, and it's probably the best traffic app I've used apart from Google Maps, which is another good one, obviously. There you are. Ooh, what's that? There you go. Things I'm trying to change something. Okay, uh, obviously you can get on the internet through Google Chrome on there as well. Nice and straightforward. I'll say some of the most of these haven't been opened, these tablets have only just been turned on, so that's why it's a bit slow. But normally it would be quite quick. So if I went from there, for instance, that's now in there. If I now go into it again, it's responsive. So you can see how that works. Okay, third one. Uh, this one's got the car functions extra, which is what I mentioned earlier. Um, you've got things like the wipers, headlights, interior lights, uh, all that sort of stuff basically will be run on that through Bluetooth relays again. Um, I don't think it will work. I don't think it's actually on yet. I haven't, no, I haven't done anything with it. I haven't even put the software on yet. Um, we have Spotify. I think that works. Yeah, that works. Everyone knows what Spotify looks like. I don't need to see that. 
uh, radio. This is the Ref FM radio. This is pretty cool. It runs through a headphone socket. I used that as an aerial, like I said before. And it picks up stations. It's pretty basic, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you just select whichever station you want. It changes to. Obviously, you can only hear it through the headphones at the moment. But I'll connect that to the audio system through a, a splitter from the other one, and you can run both. You can even have two running together if you really wanted to. But um, you, you'd be a bit of a bit of a mess. Um, we have DAB radio, which runs through an app called TuneIn, um, which you'll see in a second. There we are. That gives you all the DAB stations. Uh, and then you've got, so for instance, I've had Talk Sport on here, for instance, last. I'll play that. Is that uh, where are we? Where are we? Is that already playing? Yeah, it's already playing. So Talk Sport's already on there. That's also running through the headphones at the moment. Then if you go back to the original screen, you've got Talk Sport comes up in the middle. Pretty cool. So it all integrates with itself. Uh, it's also got a, like you've just seen there, um, a, where is it? Oh no, I'm running that now. But before it was like a graphic EQ. Uh, if you don't particularly want that graphic EQ in there, as you, uh, as you may not want to, I've got another look at what graphic EQ over here. And this is an Audio Glow one. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show much because it's got no SD card in here. No, oh, here we go. So normally put an SD card in there, um, have all the music on there, for instance, uh, or whatever you want to do. I mean, I'll, I'll run through some through the stereo as well on USB, but that's uh, that's another option. Um, but this one's obviously going to run. It normally brings up a, the track title up here as well, and obviously settings for play, pause, that sort of stuff. It's all along the bottom there when you touch it. It's all pretty cool. You can change all the uh, the spectrum. We have different things, but I particularly like that one, which is cool. Again, use that one, the home button. Takes you back to the Agama picture. Um, and it's the same. Obviously, you've got apps and stuff. It brings up TalkSport down here as well. If you've got, if you've still got the, um, that, well, if you've got something playing music-wise, that will normally move about. Uh, but then you've uh, you've also got TalkSport there at the bottom for what I was watching. But yeah, listening to you. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. So that's pretty good. Um, a little bit of a long video, but it gives you a rough idea what I'm playing with. Any questions, feel free to give me a shout. Um, subscribe if you can. Uh, it does help. And uh, I'll do another video early next week when I start work on the doors.